Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I wanna to show you how to have a little fun with Google Meet. So in Google Meet, you don't have virtual backgrounds like in Zoom, but with what I'm showing you here with all the fish swimming around with my snorkel gear on, I'm gonna show you how to put that in so you can use these virtual filters or backgrounds here, and it's very easy to set up. So first of all, you will need to install another application on your computer, and this is good for either Windows or Mac. Uh, so it's called uh, Snap Camera here, and I'll put the link down below so you can click and go to it. You do have to go to download, uh, just agree to the licensing to it. Uh, they have a spot for an email. I never put my email in it, uh, but I did click, and I went and downloaded it for, and I'm on Windows today. So go ahead, get that installed, and I'll show you the next step. I have my Snap Camera app open here, and I'm gonna show you this, how to use this in Google Meet, but you can use this for other things too, just by selecting what camera you want. Now, uh, in this one, I just wanna show you where the settings are really quickly. This little gear, you can see where you can change what camera you're using. I'm using my Logitech Brio, uh, your camera resolution. I'm just leaving these things the same right now, but you can check uh, things out the way you get things set up the way you want. Now, I'm just gonna show you a couple backgrounds and then some filters. I'm just gonna go to this uh, one right here, win from home, and just scroll down. Uh, as I click on a few of these, you'll see kind of the changes, the glow behind me. Uh, if I wanted the virtual background, here's the beach, I'll put this in. I don't find the backgrounds actually work that great in here. Uh, even when I put up my green screen, you can see as I move around, it doesn't work that uh, well. Uh, there's a few backgrounds that you can test out. If you put yourself up against a solid wall, it does work better, but I'm kind of in the middle of my room, so you can see the it doesn't come across very well. I do kind of like these, uh, these changes like this with these filters, that lenses that you put on to have all these funny effects. Here, I'll put the hoodie on here. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is, so I pick the one I want like this, and I'm gonna switch over to my Google Meet and I'll show you how to select it to make sure you have this. So I'm just gonna leave it as the hoodie one right now. So I'm just over in Google Meet here and I'm just about to start a new meeting. If you uh, wanna know more about Google Meet and you're new to it, I'll put my tutorial down below but I'm gonna start this one called Virtual World and hit continue. And you're already gonna see that uh, my hoodie is already gonna be on because I already have my settings in my Google Meet to pick up the snap camera. And this is where you go and change it. So these three little dots here, and you can do it after the fact too, but if I go uh, in there and go to settings, and then under video, you need to make sure that you're under snap camera. You can see the different cameras I have set up. Uh, the uh, app that we installed, the snap camera app, is this one here. So you gotta make sure that is selected and then you're gonna get the filter. So you can go ahead, hit join now, and I'm just gonna close out of here. And you can see I have the hoodie on here. So it is fun. Uh, the students are gonna see this when they log on. This is what they're gonna see and it goes through your camera, uh, the snap camera, very easy to set up. So if you wanna surprise a few of the students on there or some other people in your meeting, go ahead, give it a try. And remember you can use the snap camera for other things too. So I hope you liked this tip today. It was just a fun tip uh, with uh, to something to try with your Google Meets. I do weekly tech tips, so I'll see you next time on Teacher's Tech.